turn your Bible with me <laughs> to <laughs> Ephesians 5. Ephesians 5, please. The theme is oh, victory over this over satanic strategy, strategy, strategy. Victory over Satan, what? Strategy. Right. So he said, honor your parents, that's your days, what? May, may, he said may, it's a surety. Even when you honor your parents, it is a surety that you will see long life because you disrespect your parents. So we must honor our parents that our days may be long. Hallelujah. He said here, parents provoke your children not to anger. How you provoke your children is when your children don't do anything and you don't, and you just keep on provoking them and they become angry with you. But as long as they do something, you have the right to reprimand them. Give God a praise in this place. You have the right to what? Reprimand them when they do something wrong. Verse 50 says, see that, see then that he walk circumspectly, not as fool, but as wise. Circumspectly means you walk what? Peculiar. You walk a different way. You don't walk like how everybody would walk. Your thought, your thought must be different. Your, your speak, your speech must be different. Your action must be different because you're walking a peculiar way. Amen. Hallelujah. When we walk, when we walk not peculiar, we become fool. When we do the things of the world, we as Christians become fool with them. And we should not be fool with the world. We must be wise with the world. When we walk with the world, we become what fool like them. But when we walk peculiar, they will follow us because one day they'll wake up and say, look at those peculiar people. And they start to walk like them because there's something different about them. That is why, that is, that is what happened to, 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 to Pharaoh when Pharaoh looked over Goshen and see how the people in Goshen prospering. Then he said something different about them. He wanted to kill them up because they were different, because they were walking differently. They were acting differently and prosperity overtake them. When you're a child of God and walk in the way of sin, prosperity cannot overtake you because God will not prosper you into your sinful self. It's out of your sinful self God prosper you. And as long as you say you are baptized child walking with God, you got to walk away from the things of the world that God can prosper you in his own way. Amen. Give God a praise. But if you walk the same way and see a child of God, you will not see prosperity. God will not bless you in your sin. God bless you out of your sin, but not in your sin. That's why many, many church, many Christians sit in church and not seeing their blessing because they're still walking into, into darkness. They're still doing the things of the world. They're still acting like they're the world and not out of the world. So because of that, they can't see their, their blessing because God will not bless sin. Amen. Hallelujah. He will not bless sin. He will not bless sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. He said, verse 17 says, Therefore be he not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And be not drunk with wine wherein is excess but be filled with the spirit speaking to yourself in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs singing and making melody in your heart to the lord giving thanks always for all things and to the and to god and the Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus, sub submit yourself one to another in the fear of the Lord. So he said, don't drunk yourself with sin. He don't mean carnal wine. Anything that is that makes you intoxicated, it is a sinful wine. Anything that you overdo in your life, it becomes sinful. Give God a prayer this place. 
Anything that you cherish that is not of God is sin. Hallelujah. Anything you can't let go of is addiction. Addiction is sin. Addiction is sin. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Is that giving thanks always for all things? Let us don't give God, don't give thanks for nothing. Oh God, you give thanks from your mouth. Oh, thank you, but the thanks that come in from the heart. Because if you give, if you thank God for what He has done for you, you would never commit sin. Hallelujah. Many times God has taken you out of the gutter, He has taken you out of, out of sickness, He has taken you out of poverty, but you don't give thanks to Him must give thanks to him daily by singing songs singing psalms come on somebody worshiping him in your heart but let of time God deliver you and you worship him today and by the time you leave the church you go back to your sinful self and expect God to keep on giving you it don't work like that no more in the body of Christ give God a praise in this place Amen. hallelujah Jesus God just bless you. God just move you from your sickness. And you go back to the boyfriend same way. You go back to commit a fornication. You go back to commit adultery. You go back to watch the porn movie. You go back to do all kind of stuff. And God just deliver you. God just don't fix you up and you give the devil the glory. Come on, somebody. God just take you out of the sick bed. And as you get back better, you go back to give the devil the glory. Come on, somebody. That is why the devil is winning. Because no one wants to stay faithful to God no more. No one wants to stay faithful. Everybody is faithful to God. No one remember what God do for them. No one can say, I can, I can safely say, the Lord is my provider. And I will stand in the liberty. And don't go messed up. Because him don't provide for me one month. I still stay with him. Come on somebody. I stay until my change is come. But I will not commit myself to sin. I will stay until my change is come. Because right at the brink of your deliverance, the devil come and mess up what God has for you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. When you have sex with a particular person who become one flesh spiritually, speaking, this unity can either be a blessing or a curse. If you, if you sleep with your wife, you become one with her or with your husband become one if you sleep with anybody that is not your husband and is not your wife you also become one with that individual so you're carrying the other person's sin with you you carry the other person spirit with you because you sleep together that is why sleeping that is why sex must not be a fun it must be a commitment but many do it for fun. Many do it because I want to do it. Sex must be a marriage commitment. It must not be a part-time commitment because you're carrying the other person flesh. Someone now go come back here today, but I something I go preach. Sex is not a fun thing. It is a commitment. And if it 
was not a commitment, you could, if it was not a commitment, you would not have a law about divorce. Come on, somebody. You would not have a law about divorce if it was just that a, a, a thing you just do. It come with a price. It come with a law. And if the law in divorce can say, if you divorce your husband, you got to share the property. That means it come with a commitment. It come with a, con oh God Almighty, it come with a covenant. So it is so in the spiritual realm. It come with a law. It come with a commitment. It come with a responsibility. It come with a responsibility. And the responsibility can be good and it can be bad. It not every divorce come out good. Come on, somebody. Some divorce are some terrible, terrible fight. Come on, somebody. It got to be a price when you break that law it comes to the price when you break the law that God gives you he said thou shall not commit fornication thou shall not commit adultery thou shall not do immorality it is a law he giving It comes with a price. When you break it, you break the law of God. And when you break the law of God, it comes with a curse. Many people are going to like to hear my voice today. But I will preach the way the Lord gave me to preach. I said, when you have sex out of marriage, you break the righteous law. You break the law that God said it is abomination. Paul said, if you can bear it, you must marry it. But don't allow your bed to keep on burning. Lord, help me in this place. 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 90% of people who have sex in fornication end up as enemy. Because after a while it don't work. <laughs> if they even marry, if they, if they get saved and get deliverance from that sexual demon, it don't work. Uh, come on somebody. That is why... I'm, that is why so much divorce is in the body of Christ. Because there's a, there's a sexual demon that they did not be delivered from. The fornication demon. Come on somebody. The adultery demon. So they bring it over to their marriage. That is why divorce full of the body of Christ. Because the body of Christ wants a deliverance from sexual demons. Oh God, help me in this place. Hallelujah. I said one deliverance. The body of Christ wants a clean sweeping from the sexual demons that the devil have a contemplate the body of Christ. Because if you don't get deliverance, you're going to walk with it. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. If you don't get deliverance from the spirit, you're going to walk with it. So anywhere you go, you're going to have a problem. If you left this husband and go marry the other one, you're going to still have a problem. Because the sexual demon of fornication, the sexual demon of adultery is still a follow you. You never get deliverance from it. Amen. Somebody help me preach. Amen. Somebody help me preach. Amen. Somebody help me preach. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God in this place. I'm going to go down. Hallelujah. From the 15th verse of Ephesians now. I'm going to go down there from the Corinthians. Corinthians 15. Corinthians 6. Verse 15 to 20 says here, Know he not that your body are the member of Christ. Shall I then take the member of Christ and make them the member of an harlot? God forbid. Paul said, should I take God's body? Do I take the member of God's body? Do I take the resting place of 
Holy Ghost. Should I take it and be a harlot? Come on, somebody. So what Paul is saying to you, when you find Jesus and God rest in you, you must have come with fornication. Come on, somebody. You must have come with fornication. You must have got to Jack to Dick and Harry. Some of you know that the church, you know, I scan my church, burn them, stay safe. All the church sisters stay safe. Oh no, I rape them. Come on, somebody. So many of them have many wives in the church uh, and many husbands in the church uh, and they don't sleep with them. Oh, but in the spirit, they sleep with them. Uh, give them a praise in this place. You don't like me today? You don't like me today? You don't like me today? <laughs> Who no, don't no, like me today? <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. <laughs> I said men rapists in the church uh, because they I rap them member, they I rap them church brother, them I rap them church sister. God told us to stop it uh, that he can flow in the body of Christ again. That the devil lose the battle. Give God a praise in this place. Some of them are church that I rape the pastors, them too. Because they come and church sit down and want the pastor, them look good. They not hear the pastor preach, but they must see pastor, how the pastor front look. Give God a praise in this place. Him said too much immoral sex is in the church. The church is full of too much immorality. Come on, somebody. Some of them just come out of the poor of the, 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 the what do they call it? Them internet and come church like them are sweet. And them just come with sexual immorality. God said to leave the body of Christ. Illegal sex must not be the body of Christ. Illegal sex is the altar them who no save. I say illegal sex must in the church, not illegal sex. And God said, I hit the devil I used and mash up the church. Too much illegal sex in the church. God only want legal sex in the church. Married man and married woman. Help me today, God. Pray me up. I'm going to pray me up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Paul said, you want to take the, the member of God, the member of God and harlot. Paul said, God forbid. He said, God forbid I will defile my body. He said, God forbid I will I rape anybody. He said, God forbid I would have sex out of marriage. He said, God forbid. Hallelujah. Paul said, know you not that you are driving with a harlot. You sleep with anybody. Hallelujah. You sleep with anybody. You don't care who you sleep with. As long as you, as long as you, you satisfy your sexual feelings. You don't care if you sleep with your church sister. You sister with your eye raping them. Or your church brother by eye raping them. As long as you satisfy yourself. Paul said, God forbid. I it's a for two said he shall be one flesh, but he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Hallelujah. Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth. 
is without the body, but he that committed fornication sinned against his own body. What? He said, what a question. What? I sin against my own body. Every time you fornicate, and your body you sin against, and your body you tear down, and your body you are weaken, you are mash up your own self. Because you become one with whoever you sleep with. Hallelujah. You become one with whoever you sleep with. You become one with them. So if you sleep with, if you sleep with a, with a murderer, you become one with them. You sleep with a harlot, you become one with them. A liar, you become one with them. Anything that is not of God, you sleep with, you become one with them. You've got a praise in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Paul said, flee from it. He said, put on your running shoes and run from fornication. Because fornication brings fornication demons. And when demons fill you up, God, you have nowhere to clean up because you're not crying out for deliverance. When a demon fill you up, he's the agent of the devil. And the devil has three of his, rob, steal, and destroy. So when a demon fill you up, you will not see no prosperity. You will not see no good health. You will not see no joy. Because the fornication demon have you and the law down. Somebody help me in this place. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. 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 He said, knowing he that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which he have of God, and he are not your own. For he are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit. Which are God. Which is. Which are God. He said you. He said what you bear Christ in your body. A price was paid for you on Calvary. Three rusty nail was paid for you on Calvary. He has taken away your sinful sin. And nailed it to Calvary. And given the right to walk back in perfection. Perfection, to walk back in holiness but you rather fornication and immorality to take you back to the cross that means that what God has done become non effect in your life somebody help me somebody help me hallelujah Jesus your body is not yours I say your body don't belong to you. Your body is God's body because God's breath is in you. Hallelujah, Jesus. And you take God's breath and put it under some water, some stuff that he not even can look on the window. You don't take God's breath and do all kind of nastiness. But God said Christianity must not be in Christendom. He said holiness must be in the church of God. He said good life must be in the church of God. He said marriage must be in the church of God. Not Fornication, not porn movie. No, come on, can I go on? Can I go on? He said, I don't want it no more in the body of Christ. All of those things are in the unsaved. Some of them come church tired because they watch, they watch the internet all night. When they come church, they're tired, they can't see because they, 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 they watch the internet all night. God said, I'm going blind, you know. Me, Lord. Paul warned us. Paul was a man that divinely filled with the Holy Spirit by God. Hallelujah. And Paul gave us the, the mystery. He said, Sex is a mystery. Hallelujah. 
It's a, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. The, 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 the passage shows you that your body is of God. Your body don't belong to you. And God do not have those kind of life. Why, while, while Christ is in you, you cannot commit adultery. You cannot fornicate. You can't masturbate neither. It's a sin. But the church don't want to preach about that. It, it, it keep it down. God shall must lift the cover off it. Amen. Your own body you mess up. Hallelujah. Paul warned us he's a Christian. Christian must not let their body become fragments. A Christian body must be strong. Hallelujah. Sex is a covenant. It is a deeply spiritual act capable of enslaving everything for those who blindly go into it illegal. If you blindly go into sex illegal, it is, it can enslave you. <laughs> you become addicted to it because you're going out illegal. Anything you're going illegal, you will get catch. Because the devil operates illegally. So if you're going to sex illegally, the devil you work with, not God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sex is legal when it's done the right way. It is illegal when you go through the back door. Sex comes with a license. That is why when you are married, you have to go and get a you have to go and get a married license to become legal. If you don't have a married license to sex, you're operating in an illegal realm. And anything can happen to you. Talk to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In this six short verse, he show you. He showed that sex is a covenant. He showed that sex must not operate in an illegal way. It must operate in the what? In the legal way. It showed that sex is a covenant. It is a deeply spiritual covenant. It must not be taken lightly and used as a piece like a piece of waste paper that you use and throw away. Sex is a covenant. It's a holy covenant. A single act of sex can is capable of joining your body, your soul, and your spirit with one of another, regardless of who you sleep with. Regardless of who you sleep with, one sexual act can join you together. <laughs> verse, the, 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 the six short verse tell us. That the one sexual act can draw us into, a full, into so much sin. He can draw us into a place where we lose our consciousness of where we are going. He can draw us into a place where even our health is in. Is it, our health is, is under an attack. Because if you sleep with Dick, Tom and Harry, you can catch any form of disease. But when you are sleeping with one partner, you now catch no disease. Give God a praise in this place. You see, if somebody sanctified and born again, you don't have to worry about, about, about sickness. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. One act of, sex, of illegal sex can draw you into the demonic realm. Satan and his cause are not ignorant to it because that is their food. That is their office. 
So they're not ignorant in what they make you do, but you're ignorant in it because you don't put your trust in God and tell yourself that your body is a living sacrifice, that your body is holy unto the Lord, but the devil know you are not holy, so he can't come and inject you with sex, immoral sex. Sex is so, is so powerful that it, it, it unites the spirit and soul. The power of sex is so awesome that the devil has chosen it as his chief instrument. Hallelujah. It's Satan's chief instrument. Because guess what? It is the thing to produce. He said, go out and produce. He tell, and he tell, he tell Noah, he said, go and produce. So the devil know that sex produce. And because he knows sex produce, he used sex as a weapon. Because sex produce every other sin. Because once you have an illegal sex, you're open to God the party. You're open to drink rum. You're open to lie. You're open to thief. You're open to murder. You're open to rape. You're open to incest. You're open to every other sin. Because that is the devil's chief weapon against you and me. It control your mind. It's the only thing that can bring you into exorcism. Be there to smoke drugs. Come on, somebody. It bring you to a place where the man shop, you lose your mind. Hello, somebody. You lose your mind. That's how powerful that devil is. I say it is a devil way when you use illegal. When it is used in the right way, it becomes very awesome. But it must use in the right and proper way. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Give God a praise in this place. When you sleep with many people, it fragment it, it fragmenting your body. It weakens you. Come on, somebody. It brings down your body to nothing. You become nothing. Hallelujah. But when you spend your money one place, you switch by your money, go. Watch those men that have five and seven women. Watch how they walk poverty. They have too much house for support. And then I support them right house. And when the curse come upon them, they run, come find the house that they should support. Paul said, <laughs> the question was asked, if you read this, is a question sign. He says, own body. He said, your own body, fornicate sin against your own body. Question sign said, what? What mean I shouldn't do it? What did I do against my own body? Why did I mess up my own body? Why did I fragment, fragment my own body? Why do I weaken my own soul? Why did I mess up my own soul? Why did I mess up my own body? The question sign there make a big difference. It will make you think. It shock you. It should shock you today. Stop messed up your body through fornication. Wait until you're married. If you don't can wait, find somebody and marry them. If you cannot wait, don't burn your body. You think God means your physical body. He means your body. Your body represents the bed. He said, if you can bear it. Marry unless your bed going to burn. What is your bed? Your body. Your body goes for the consequence. 
Hallelujah, Jesus. You're going to pay a price you should not pay. If you just walk into the precept of God when he said that you must let your body be a living sacrifice acceptable unto him. Give God a praise in this place. Give God a praise in this place. When you fornicate, you have messed up your prosperity because you become involved with what spiritual husband, illegal spiritual husband, illegal spiritual wife. All of them are illegal because they were not legally, legally married. So many people have legal, illegal husband in their bed, illegal wife in their bed, causing all kind of confusion in their marriage. So you want deliverance. Can these sins lead you into sin? It leads you into immorality. It leads you to commit phony, to commit adultery. If you're even married, that sexual, that that illegal, that illegal um, husband, or illegal wife, pulling you to go commit that sin. Come on, somebody, pulling you to go and commit adultery, pulling you to come to go and watch the internet and porn movie, pulling you to do all kind of illegal sin because that illegal husband and that illegal wife is still in your bed, is still at your dining room table, is still in your living room, is still driving to work with you, is still sitting into your workplace. Come on, somebody, is still sleeping with you because you are not you will not legally get deliverance from it. Many, have, many people can't marry. You're in the church, but nobody knows why I'm married, you know. Because there's a spirit husband there, a provider, you know, from nobody to sue, you know, Because you don't get ready. The fornication husband. The fornication, God, can I go on? Who don't forget that there's a spirit in your life? Who don't must admit so no fornicator and get deliverance from fornication spirit? It is a curse. Fornication is a sin. It's Satan's food. It's Satan's main weapon to destroy the body of Christ. We must come out of it. If we're in it, if we come out, give God a praise in this place. Come and give God a praise in this place. Hallelujah. You can't say, Yeah, God, church, or you fornicate. You can't say, Yeah, God, church, and you do. What is that one name? Masturbation. <laughs> Come on, somebody. You can't say you yeah, got church and you yeah, watch porn movie. You can't say you yeah, got church and you yeah, watch all this up there. You yeah, bring those demons in the church to contaminate the church. God said he don't want it no more in his church. His church is a place of prayer and worship. Joseph said, how can I release great sin and sin against God? When, when Potiphar's wife showed Moses, showed Joseph all the riches, and Joseph recognized the consequence, he would pay if he sleep with Potiphar's wife. Joseph dropped off his his garment, him leave his shirt in a party for wife hand, and he run naked because the whole of Israel would contemplate. It would not be an Israelite race if he be lie with party for wife. Come on, somebody. If he lie with party for wife, we wouldn't be around. So Satan didn't want to use that and, and Joseph for Joseph to want to defile his body to commit adultery. That the king of king and lord of lord don't come true. The Jewish race. 
every time the devil make you have sex in more and more immoral way, he wants to abort the plan of Christ in your life. Every time the devil make you have fornication sin, he wants to abort God's purpose. He wants to have more in hell than who God have a heaven. You want to be a candidate to Satan's plan? <laughs> you want to want to be Satan candidates? You want Satan hire you? You must fire him as from tonight. You hear this message, you must fire him. If he wants to walk in fornication, tell him so you divorce him today. Yeah. Tell the man, give me the ring. Tell the woman, lock your fuck tail, but I'm not sleeping with you, and then you don't marry me. Tell the devil I will not be his workman no more. Say, devil, you hire me, but me fire myself. I will not be your workman against God no more. I will not be your workman against the purpose of God no more. I will keep my body. Under subjection. If I can't bear it, I'm going to find a woman and a, a man and married. If I'm a man, I'm going to find a woman and marry him. And if I'm a woman, I'm going to find a man and marry him. But I will not be Satan work man no more. He won't hire me to mash up the body of Christ no more. He, don't, he will not hire me for him to have more in hell no more. God died and covered for me. So he must have more in heaven. So as from today, I'm no more your candidates. No more your candidates. No more your candidates. Mm. You are fired. Are Tell him you are fired. You are fired. You are fired. I'm no more your sex candidates. Against God. In the name of Jesus. I love, I love my Jesus enough to fire you, to fire you. In, the in the name of Jesus. Come on, lift you to the heaven. We're going to make a declaration today. We know that Satan used insects to destroy the kingdom of earth. We know he's using sex to have more candidates in a hell. Than how much God have in heaven. So there's a race on earth right now. Satan set the pace for a race. To see how much he can win. So he using sex, immoral sex. To have more people on his team. But God said not be a fool. He said we must be wise. And see where we want to go. Do you want to go to hell? Or do you want to go to heaven? If you want to go to heaven. Come out of immorality. Give God a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because no sexual immorality can go to heaven. Because when God sent the angels them on earth, and those angels look upon the Son of Man, they couldn't go back up in heaven. God had to bind them down here. Their foot could not go back up in heaven. Because they look at the son and daughter of man with a lustful look. So God no want them back in heaven. So if you want to go to heaven, come out of fornication and immorality. If you know, say, yeah, do it, call 
your pastor for put you through a deliverance. It's not favorable. It is not negotiable. You can't go to heaven if you are a fornicator. You can't go to heaven if you live an immoral life. Heaven get not see you. So the brother come tell me that you got church. Nothing unclean can go there. So it don't make sense, you're not a thief, you're not a lie, you not commit murder, but you commit fornication and adultery and, and immorality. It can't go to heaven. Now I got it. I waste no waste no time. Once anything immoral, it can't go there. Once it's anything illegal, it can't go there. Heaven is a legal door. Heaven is okay, no illegal door. Heaven carries one straight legal door. Nothing illegal can go to heaven. So don't tell me, say, me a God church and me God forgive me of my sin. Yes, if you, if you do the act and ask forgiveness and you don't do it again, yes, you talk to me. But if you keep on committing the immoral sin, you can't go to heaven. The word of God said so. No sin, no sin, no sin. No sin can enter there. Heaven so bright and it rosy, no sin can go there. Give God a praise in this place. Give God a praise. 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 Give God a praise in this place. Hallelujah, Jesus. So all those people who have people, husband, let them go. You are somebody, wife, let them go. God, that can't go to heaven and not for that something in the church. Those who are sick with the wrong partner, stop it. They can't go to heaven. Nothing illegal can go to heaven. Everything legal is heaven bound. Give God a praise in this church. Come and lift you to the heaven. And declare your legal rights. The only thing you can declare your legal rights is when you stop committing fornication. And sexual immorality. So if you have it on your cell, wipe it off. It, if there's pornographic movie on your computer, wipe it off. Hallelujah. 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 If it, was, if it was legal to do those things, it would not be a law against, against internet sex. It would not be a law. So not be a law. If it was just freely, to, you can just freely do it. If it was, if it was right, you would not be a law against it. So if it, if man can make law against these things, why you expect God not to make law against it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If it was law to have, to have sex out of marriage, why would they still make the law if the child come out of wedlock if you still mind them? Yeah, if you still mind them. Because it's illegal. Hello, somebody. It's illegal to have sex illegally.
You have to pay a price. Don't care how you hide it, you have to pay a price. Come on, somebody. I know you don't love me today, but God said I must preach against it, so may I preach against it. Immoral sex must not be among God's children. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah in this house. Hallelujah. It must not be among us. Come on, lift your hand. Much of you are with me. Come on, be with me, man. I have a message to preach over the whole world about, the, about what Satan has used to mash up God's children. He said he's going to use sex to destroy the world. He's going to use sex to divide you from God. He's going to use sexual immorality to make him have more candidates for hell. And God not have enough. But God forbid it. Because God's children's eyes will be open and their heart will be receptive and they will find a partner, marry them, and don't live in a sin. Amen. 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 And who can find none? Bear it. Put it out of subjection. You had the power to do so. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Call the Holy Ghost to take over your body. Call in the Holy Ghost to take over your body. Call the Holy Ghost to take control. Call in the Holy Ghost to take control over your body. And don't be a Satan agent. Don't be the devil agent to destroy God's kingdom. Don't be it. Don't be an enemy to God through sex. Don't do it. I beg you, don't do it. In the name of Jesus today. Amen. Give God a praise in this place. Hallelujah. Give God a praise. Hallelujah. Give God a praise. Hallelujah. I will fight with all my. And I try to do the right. King David. I just want to be like you. I want to tell the enemy. What Jehovah God can do. I will fight with all my might and I will try to do the right. How much are you going to try to do the right? Let me see the hand who God tried to do the right. Tell yourself that from today, from this message, I will do the right. I will not make my sexual intention destroy the will of God in my life. I will not let my sexual intention let Satan have more in hell and God have less in heaven. I will fight with all my might and I will try to do the right. As from this day, as from this day, I turn a new page, and I'm asking the Holy Ghost to come and be my partner until God gave me one. Give me one, Holy Ghost, come and comfort me, come and comfort me on every side that I can keep safe. In Jesus' arms. Give God a praise in this place. Give God a praise. Give God a praise. I'm not a preacher, I'm a teacher. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood. Oh, what can make me whole again? Nothing of Jesus. Oh, precious is that makes me white as snow. 
No other fountain, no. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, what can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the blood that makes me white as snow. No. Come on, brother, I'll nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, what can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole? Jesus, oh, precious is the blood that makes me white than snow. No other found I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. The altar is open, the altar is open. What can wash away? Oh, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, what can make me whole again? Oh, nothing but the blood of Jesus. The altar open. Oh, precious is the blood. Oh, that makes me white than snow. No other find I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. The altar is open. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, what can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, said no other oh, makes me white than snow no other oh nothing but the blood of Jesus there's, if the word that you hear today, if the word that you hear today, knowing that the devil is using that weapon against God's kingdom, using that weapon against you, and you want to recommit your life to the Lord today, don't make the altar close. Don't be afraid to step to the altar to reconnect your life to the Lord. So I'm going to sing the song over again. What can Minister to her. Minister to her. Minister to her. So you can minister to her. Oh, what can me oh again? Nothing but the blood 
of Jesus. Oh, I said no other mountain oh, that makes me white as snow. No. Of Jesus, the altar is open for all those who want to reconnect their life to the Lord. My sin, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, what can make me? Me, 